Hello Internet! I'm the Cow Says Moo, and you just started watching my first ever Minecraft Let's Play, as well as my first ever video that I'm going to upload to YouTube for any reason. Um, as you can see, I'll be playing Minecraft 1.23, but I've also included several other mods, uh, kind of in a mad scientist-y, wizardly sort of mod pack. Uh, I've got a few mods that are old standbys for me that I'm including, Buildcraft, Red Power 2, Forestry, and Equivalent Exchange, but also several that are new to me, uh, Thomcraft 2, the new version of Asinor's mod, uh, Dust mod, Fossils and Archaeology, uh, as well as Portal Gun and Laser mod and a few other ones. Uh, one that I'm notably not including in this one is Industrial, Cla Industrial Craft. Uh, I ran into a couple forge conflicts of some sort and kind of got fed up with figuring it out and just wanted to play, so uh, I'm just going to leave that out of this one, which will be interesting. I'll miss my uh, macerators. Um, I'm actually totally new to the uh, 1.2 thread of Minecraft, so I'm looking forward to uh, playing in jungles and villages, and to that end I have found a seed that supposedly spawns you in the middle of a big jungle with a village not too far away. So we'll check it out and see how it's going to work. Uh, the seed is test craft, spelled like this, and we'll get crafting. A um, little bit about me and how I play Minecraft. I tend to be a bit of a fiddler. I don't focus on one thing for very often. I build a little, I explore a little, I mine a little. Um, I like doing all of it. Uh, so hopefully you'll see a wide variety of things. Yeah, it looks like we're definitely in a big jungle here. It looks like we've got a nice hill over there. Uh, some stone, that's nice. Um, but I guess like all uh, Minecraft games, we'll just start off punching some trees. As you can see, I've also included NEI. Oh, and you can see my little uh, icon here. I call him Cowgamel. It's a Gargamel skin that I downloaded and edited just a little bit and then plopped a cow head on. <laughs> it's kind of fun. Uh, I've sort of been thinking of him as being an exile from some Calvana. Uh, so he's been cast out into this new world and seeks revenge on the cows that sent him away. Uh, let's go ahead and whip up a crafting bench here. I don't have to punch wood too long, as one of the other mods I've got in here is Tree Capitator. Um, I actually don't know how that's going to work in a jungle. We'll find out. Got some big trees. Maybe it'll cut them all the way down. I hear chickens. There goes nothing. Oh yeah, it's raining wood. As you can see, that's a flax seed. What do I have over here? Is that one of the new saplings? Awesome. Uh, looks like I've already got some bad guys spawned. Uh, I also use the REI mini-map, and I enable some features that some people probably consider cheating, especially in multiplayer, but I'm just in a single-player game, so I don't care. Uh, I like using them. Uh, I show all the entities. Um, I can look at, holy crap, that is a big jump. Uh, blow up the map and look at a bigger version. I've also got uh, the different transparencies. I can see tunnels and such. Uh, so I'll be trying to make use of that. Wow, some wood is still dropping from somewhere. Let's see. Well, I think I've got plenty of wood. I've got almost three stacks. So let's just pick a direction and set out. Um, there's some exposed stone there, so let's go over here. What is this? South? Actually, before I go, let's go ahead and mark my spawn point on the map, just to... Just as reference, uh, I might or might not be coming back to the spawn point. We'll see. Um, yeah, looks like we got a nice couple nice trees up there. Uh, I might eventually make myself a nice big tree house. Oh, wow. Uh, that's a big hole. That's awesome. That'll get us started right away. Let's see. How do I want to get down here? I guess I'll just start plowing my way down. Those. They sound like my old friend. Actually, before I go down, let's find them. And then 
vengeance upon the brethren of those who cast me out. Where are ya? I want that I want a feather eventually. for other various and sundry experiments. But I do want to have chicken. Come here, chicken. There we go. Alright. I got food now. Let's head down this. Little glitch there. Uh, I don't have Optifine installed because there's a known issue between Optifine and Thumbcraft 2. So I'm just... Ooh, that looks like Appetite, part of the forestry mod. Um, I will definitely be wanting to use that. Uh, let's just get a couple more stone here. Make a stone pickaxe. You have to have a stone pickaxe to harvest Appetite. stones, so I'll make a shovel. Awesome. Just a few minutes in and all kitted out. Appetite. Uh, so yeah, you use this in forestry to make uh, fertilizer, which you can use in some of your tree farms and stuff like that. Um, so it's a little ways off, but I will eventually be using it. Um, let's just lose the dirt. There we go. Alright, got into this nice big hole that was conveniently like three steps away from my spawn point. to as the new AI. We'll see how it works. So far it's not scaring me. <laughs> but it doesn't look like they've got a way all the way up to me, so that's probably why. Come on over here. I see ya. Awesome. Looks like they even dropped a little bit of gunpowder for me. I love creepers. What I don't have yet is coal, and I don't see any here exposed. Well, got a cave here with some iron, though. Let's grab that. Uh, this white stone that's right here next to the iron that I'm harvesting is from Red Power 2. Uh, it's marble doesn't have really any uses except for building. looks good. Um, you can turn it into marble bricks, which are awesome looking. I'll go ahead and actually harvest just a little bit of this. Um, depending on how big this cave is, I might just build a little uh, mining center and put a couple chests and a forge and stuff in it. Uh, 
I don't have any torches yet, so sorry, but it's going to be just a little dark. We'll see what we've got here. Got a little more iron. Oh, and uh, that looks like the end of the road. Oh well. Um, there is some coal though, so I'll bust out some of this coal and make some torches for you guys. Uh, I have a tendency to walk around in the dark. <laughs> I know it's kind of dangerous, but I do it. And I've... Hmm, um, I think this is from the fossils in Archaeology mod. I think that's got some fossils in it, but I tested it, and you can't harvest them without iron. So, uh, we'll just come back here in the light. Oh, look, there is some coal after all. Got an indigo flower. Also, by its lonesome right there. Uh, I was saying you need iron pickaxe to harvest fossils, so uh, I'll be getting one in just a couple minutes here, but not quite ready yet. Harvest up some of this coal. Looks like there's bad guys down there, so I might be able to dig my way into another cave. Uh, if so, that'd be great. We'll take a look here as soon as I get this stuff harvested. Uh, looks like I stumbled across just a little bit of copper, too. This is from Forestry and Red Power. Uh, it's in Industrial Craft, too, but uh, as I said, I don't have that one enabled. Um, I don't think I'll be needing copper quite as much as I usually do. I can't think of immediate uses for it without Industrial Craft. But I'm sure I'm... Oh, I guess I'll need bronze and brass. Uh, but beyond that... There's probably a couple forestry engines and machines that use it, but I don't know off the top of my head which ones they are. Um, so anyway, let's let's just come on back down here. I do have enough cobblestone to make something real quick. Actually, let's just harvest some of this marble and do it. And I'll build myself just a little base down here at the end of that tunnel, and then uh, see what I can find. Maybe tunnel on out, and hopefully stumble across another cave. Alright, that should just about do it here, I think. I should be using my wood axe. Oh well. Yeah, let's come on down here and build myself something real quick. I don't know what that sound is exactly, but it sounds pretty ominous to me. bricks, as I said, and uh, go ahead and make myself a quick little base here. These bricks look pretty nice. And door. Because I'm a little afraid of this new monster AI, to be honest. Uh, I am not the best player in the world as it is, and uh, I'll probably die a lot until I get used to this. <laughs> uh, we'll drop that furnace in there. What I don't have is a bed, but since I'm down in the hole anyway, I guess I won't really need it. Um, let's see here. Um, we'll just make this a little bit bigger first. Ah, well, there we go. No need to do any searching. I found a cave right there. That's cool. Um, wow, that goes down a long ways too. Awesome. 
Um, for the time being, I think I'm gonna zip it back up. Let's see what I've got here for iron. I've got eight iron. Perfect. We'll get that started. Uh, let's make up a couple chests because this is definitely gonna be a base of operations since I found that cave. other sounds, so I'm betting on a creeper. <laughs> um, let's dump some of this wood. Don't need that, don't need those. up out here, I think. I'd rather not have... Oh, let's see, there he is. Perfect. No problems whatsoever. Uh, that's that little cave where I found the iron. Light this place up a bit. And since I've got this iron pickaxe, let's check out these fossils. Bone. Something. Something. Something else. Bone. Neat. We'll take a look at these. Lots of them. Awesome. Grab this iron while we're at it. No shortage of iron. That's good. Maybe I'll whip myself up some armor before I go deeper. And a bucket. Fossil and a relic scrap. Oh, I think those are the two pieces I need. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and do it. Uh, so what I'm going to show you is one of the new machines from fossils in archaeology. Uh, it's something like this. There we go. The analyzer. Well, it's probably not new, but it's new to me, so we'll put it in here. I think what you do is you just drop these things in there, and yeah, it's checking them out, trying to see if there's anything interesting about those pieces. And we got bone meal. Not particularly interesting, but certainly useful. Fern seeds. I think you can grow those and feed them to some of the things you can get later on with this mod. I won't spoil things too badly. And I don't really quite know how to do it anyway, so <laughs> why raise expectations too high? Get this last piece of iron here and I'll make a bucket and that'll leave me with uh, nine, so that's six. Ah, one short of a pair of pants. Hmm. Well, let's make a bucket, because that's important. And I guess I'll just make a pair of boots and keep those two iron on me for right now. It's not much armor, but it's better than nothing. Alright, let's start heading down here. I don't need those more tricks. Uh, I'll clean up stuff here off camera. There's no reason for you guys to see it um, in this little house. That'll work, I guess. Oh, we do need to cook up some of this food real quick. Sorry, guys. Let's 
So I guess I may as well clean up from here. While well, I'm waiting on that. Uh, I have no oh, that looks like something new. Um I think that is Cinnabar from Bombcraft. Uh yes, yeah, Cinnabar War. I'm not real sure what you do with it yet. I assume since it's an ore, you probably cook it up, but we'll see. As soon as some of that food is done, I will get it cooking and see what happens. Use this marble stuff for some flooring. It looks pretty good, a floor especially, I think. Chicken. Let's throw the cinnabar in there. See what it does. Hmm. I got some more fossils here. That's cool. So I'm gonna scoot over one anyway. Oh yeah, getting a couple more pieces of stuff. Ooh, got a skull. Uh, that was one of the neat things that I saw in the mod review. So yeah, I got a little piece of relic scrap here. Let's throw that in there. Bone and a couple skulls. These skulls are pretty cool. Uh, you can light them up like a pumpkin or you can just place them on the ground. Place them on the ground. Oops, back up a little. And they're a skull or you can put a torch in them just like you do a jack-o'-lantern and get a skull lantern. And let's uh well, let's just get rid of my torch here and put it right there. No, more iron right there. Jeez. Let's go back and get that. But let's place this jack o' lantern thing here. Looks pretty awesome, doesn't it? And I don't know what the the light level is, but it looks pretty good. It's good enough for this little shack, that's for sure. something here. Cobblestone's fine. Sorry, I'm kind of mumbling just a little bit. I'll have to stop doing that. Just saying that cobblestone will be fine to fill that hole in. Uh, there we go. Did we get anything from, from that? No, flint. Interesting. Not particularly useful quite yet, but it will be. A bit more iron. Uh, Quicksilver, okay. So, hmm. Wonder what you do with that. Any uses? Nope. Um, looking at the Thomcraft wiki, uh, it looks like you have to do a lot of research before you can really get things, so I didn't expect there to be a recipe just there in any eye, but you never know. Uh, cook up that last little bit of iron and get another piece of armor, I guess. Um, I'm going to want to save a little bit of iron, uh, just in case I'm down in the depths and get a little lucky and find a diamond and so I can whip up an alchemical chest. Um, oh, also one thing I'm going to want to do is get one piece of wood here. No, I guess I got plenty of wood on me already. And cook it up to get a piece of charcoal. And I'll need the charcoal to make the lowest level of covalence dust from equivalent exchange, uh, with which I'm going to make a divining rod. Alrighty, so I've got eight pieces. Do I want to just use it, or do I want to make... I'll just use it. There we go, iron chest plate. charcoal. Um, I got plenty of cobblestone here, so to make the covalence dust, it's just a bunch of cobblestone and one piece of charcoal, and you get the covalence dust. And then to make the divining rod that I was talking about, it's a stick surrounded by this covalence dust. And this low level one isn't very useful by itself, uh, but you can upgrade it with the higher levels of covalence dust and it gets much more useful. Um, you just click on a wall holding it, and it tells you uh, a little ways into the wall, I don't remember exactly what level the, the lowest level divining rod is, 
uh, basically what's behind that. Um, with a value of 1, not a whole heck of a lot, which isn't surprising. I'm way up here at 52 levels, so... <laughs> value 0. Awesome. Okay, so I'm ready to go. Here. I'm going to drop off a little bit more of this stuff and start heading down. I'll go ahead and throw you in there and start you cooking. But I think for my first trip, just a couple chicken will be plenty. And then I'm gonna head back over here and head down. Whoops. Ooh, what's that? Oh, only one way to Oh, I bet that's um lost or something. Fossil mod. Oh, that was a book. Just a regular book, yep. And some fern seeds. Interesting. It's a pretty neat mod so far. Get all kinds of new stuff. I should probably make myself a stone pickaxe. That primarily. Now that I've got covalence dust, uh, another thing you can do with the covalence dust is repair items. So maybe I'll do that. Oops, that's gravel. There we go. Looks like my cow's finished cooking. caves, so in places like this you'll tend to see a lot of it. Um, it's got an EMC value of just one, so it's just like cobblestone as far as equivalent exchange is concerned. And I miscooked there apparently. Uh, got a creeper down there it looks like. Naturally. But we'll see what we can do with him. Once I get down a little further. Some looks like more fossils. So they're not too uncommon. I wasn't sure how common they were going to be. Uh, looks like my uh, side wall has gone away. Um, well, let's just take this out and see what we have here. Actually, oh, there we go. How convenient, perfect level. Hello, yeah, that didn't go so well. Rather than just harvest all this stuff, I'm going to plow down while you're on camera here and uh, see if I can't get, get, get down to some diamonds or something. Oh, uh, looks like there was a crystal creeper probably exposed that. Uh, cr new crystal from uh, Thumbcraft. Alright, I hear lots of sounds here. Where is everyone? Um, looks like another thumbcraft crystal. 
crystal over there. Wow, yeah, lots of ways in. I'll light this up and I think I'm going to block it off for right now. So this is what the Thumbcraft crystal probably looked like before that creeper blew it up. And you just break them and you pick up a crystal. Oh, skeleton. Bad, bad skeleton. Heal up just a little bit here and... Stone first uh, for the next level of covalence dust. Uh, all kinds of stuff around here. I bet there's another cave. Um, yeah, next level of covalence dust. Oh. But I can hear water. There's definitely stuff around. We'll take a look at it. Uh, this is emerald from the Red Power Gym mod. Uh, you can use it to make tools. So I'll probably make myself a, a pickaxe or something. I can't repair my iron one yet because I don't have the next level of commands. Um, this green one that I've got repairs stone. Light blue repairs uh, iron and dark blue repairs diamond. Oh, right there. Awesome. Do we got any friends here? Nope, doesn't look like it. I do have redstone, which is awesome. I'll grab that. just head back up topside, make that next level of covalence dust, and uh, cut this episode short. We're off right there. I don't know that it's going to be short. And we will end that first episode right there with the new divining rod. That's not it. This way. Sorry, not talking, trying to remember where the heck I'm going here. Alrighty, get my way out. Uh, block this entryway off and make that. Got a little iron here. I just need one piece of iron and one piece of redstone to make that other level of valence dust. And then I'll upgrade my divining rod, show it off, and then we will cut off this episode. So, there you go, it's uh, cyan, like I said, and you can repair iron pickaxes and such with it. Uh, it doesn't really quite need it yet, but I'll show you how to do it. Uh, it took three iron to make this pickaxe, so you need three covalence dust, and it fully heals it. Ta-da! Uh, 
uh, so for a sword it would be two, for a shovel it's one, etc. Um, and then we will upgrade this divining rod. Just use the old divining rod surrounded by the new covalence. And this one is almost useful. Uh, I think it digs eight deep or maybe 16 deep, and then it's the three by three block. Uh, so if you click on the middle here, it'll tell you what's eight deep in this square all the way back. Um, and it tells you uh, what the best found item is. In this case, it's EMC value one, so it's stone, cobblestone, dirt, uh, marble, etc. Let's see what I've got here. A anything anywhere? Really? Nothing? Uh, there's a little delay on... Ah, here we go, there's some iron. If we click on this, 256, which is iron. Apparently I missed that somehow before. Uh, so that's the EMC value in equivalent exchange of iron, and that's what it tells you. So anyway, this seems like a pretty good place to cut it, cut it off. Um, I'll probably continue pressing down mining and uh, maybe feed this analyzer those few pieces that I found. Um, I actually don't see any, so maybe I didn't get any pieces. Oh well. So I won't be feeding the analyzer. Um, I might do a little more mining off camera and then come back f for the next episode. Uh, in the meantime, thanks for watching. Um, have fun and keep moving. Bye-bye.